I was in a three year relationship and we were we were doing our thing like we were making moves together and then out of the blue you just want to get up and leave what am i to do with that hey guys welcome back to a brand new video it's your girl Sutania, and if you're new here welcome please hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates whenever a new video is posted so based off the title of this video i'm sure you can already tell what this video is all about it is a life update you know i'm going to be telling you guys kind of pretty much what's going on what's been going on a lot of you guys have noticed that i've been a little mia um i'm not so consistent with my content as i would and so i I figured that maybe doing a life update would kind of help you to understand what's going on with this silence per se all right so there's been a lot that's been going on um, if you were to ask me how I'm doing I think the first word that I would use to describe this feeling that I'm currently going through is probably heartbreak. I'm heartbroken. I am feeling very demotivated. I am not sad, but not all the way happy. Um, I feel confused and there are just a, a number of emotions that I could really use to describe myself right now. But I'll just stick with those. Um, let's talk about the heartbreak part. Why I'm so heartbroken. Alright, so at the moment, life is just lifing. And I've been going through a series of what I would consider unfortunate events. There's just a lot going on. And I'm usually the type of person who is happy. Um, and whether whenever something bad happens, I can you know jump back up or i can pick back myself up or i can easily get through it because it's just a bad thing and i i understand that in life there's always going to be good and bad there are going to be bad experiences as well as there'll be good experiences so i'm not like bad things don't normally like trigger me or knock me off my game however as i said there's been a lot of things that's been happening all at once and um, I think last week, Wednesday, was like the last straw. So after the events of Wednesday, it kind of left me heartbroken. Um, so last week, Wednesday. I don't think I need to talk about all the other things that happened prior to Wednesday. But Wednesday was that point where I was like, I am done. I am sick and tired. I'm fed up. You know? Um, Wednesday... If you guys don't already know, my trade, uh, my job is I'm a website designer. So I do websites for small businesses, um, small companies, personal brands, um, those types of people, right? And I also do content creation. So I create blog posts for companies. Um, I do social media management and I also create social media graphics for companies, right? So that's my trade, that's my profession. Last week, Wednesday, um because we're currently in this um where we're at which i'm in jamaica that's where i'm from and we're currently going through lockdown periods where the place is locked down between sunday to tuesday so it means that we can only like go on the road and do business between wednesday to saturday so um i'm trying to not make this story too long because this is not the main thing but basically we can't get to go out and because of that what happens when the place is open between wednesday to friday there's just a bunch of traffic so i went on the road last week wednesday um trying to get some business done and then when it was done i was hungry um i was trying to get some food on the road but you know by the time i was done doing what i was doing the places were already preparing to close so i said i'll go home and like maybe prepare some but by the time i reach home in the traffic there was no preparation of food for me i just wanted to eat some food 
So I said, all right, you know what? Let me order from the app because I order on Seven Grave a lot. That's my app that I use to order food and get food after curfews and everything like that. Um, and everybody knows my little KFC. So I in the middle of the video, in it. Um, so normally I everybody should know by now that so I love KFC KFC is my thing so KFC was the best option for me because that would have made me feel good I stress eat guys so like if I'm stressed out me I gonna eat food you see if you ever see me I'm a fat don't ask me why I'm a fat ask me why I'm a stress so I stress eat a lot um so I said KFC is gonna be the thing and I ordered a Pepsi because th there was just a choice between Pepsi and ginger beer I don't drink ginger beer ever I hate it um, so I said, I'd work with the Pepsi. If I wanted anything else, I would have to like pay more. And I was already paying for the delivery. I just didn't want to do all of that. So when the Pepsi come and the food come and, you know, make it worse. When the food come, the food was not the correct order. So of course I was mad about that. But anyways, as I said, things are happening and I'm just pressing gas because guess what? I am positive and good things will you know find me and i trap good things that's what i've been telling myself and um you know i was there trying to eat some food and i just don't know i mean i know but it just feels weird how it happened um i was trying to reach for the pepsi and i guess because i don't drink pepsi the cup was still full and i was trying to reach for the pepsi and the pepsi spill all over the keyboard so needless to say the most important thing in my business right now is my laptop because that's what I use to create. Whether it's my videos or my content. And the thing died, you know? Um, I know it's a thing. I know it's an object. It's not a person. And there could be other people out there now going through worse. But not being able to work, not being able to create is affecting me a lot. I can't you know my way of living is being affected right now separate and apart from like my small business my I have an online clothing store and it's already hard to get stuff from China or or wherever I'm ordering my items from it's it's already hard to get stuff because of you know COVID and things are being delayed I feel like everybody decide that they want to be outside today as soon as I'm trying to record so we're gonna let the helicopter pass today though yeah so um where was I COVID is affecting my business in many ways but you know my online stuff was doing well until bam here comes the Pepsi who don't want to just mash up life so of course the pepsi mash up my laptop and i'm yeah the pepsi did it i'm blaming the pepsi today it was my fault still i should have not had you know food around the laptop but anyways i was not prepared for that to happen this is no movement day remember we're not supposed to be on the road yeah Ugh, stop or i'll just not do this video so like I was saying, this was not what I was prepared for. I wasn't prepared for it at all because, I mean, I had all intentions of upgrading my laptop eventually. This year, to be exact, it's a part of my goal, but it wasn't supposed to be right now. You know what I mean? I wasn't prepared for it. I am not prepared for that. And that is affecting me. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's affecting my mood. It's affecting it's it's all i can think about because again that's how i make my money so now my way of life or not my way of life but the way how i would make my money is now being affected and it's it's not fun it's not the nicest feeling ever um so yeah it left me heartbroken like legit it felt like when it happened on wednesday it felt like i was in a three-year relationship and we were we were doing our thing like we were making moves together and then out of the blue you just want to get up and leave what am i to do with that you know like how do i go on 
so i spent most of that night crying <laughs> yeah i'm a cry baby i cried i cried so hard so hard that my eyes were fat the next day because i'm like yo this is not this is not the plan this is not the plan i have things to do i have goals to me like this is not the plan this is totally out of the blue I don't know, if it I don't know um, the reason why I felt compelled to tell the story. I don't know who this is going to help. I don't know who's currently going through one of those moments where life just doing its thing. Life is just lifing and it's a throw every lemon you can or lime uh, wherever you are in the world. You know, it's throwing the lemons at you and you know, you probably don't feel strong enough to make the lemonade. So you feel defeated, you feel tired, you feel frustrated, you feel like you are being singled out by life. Like life just not like you and it just happens on you only. Like I legit feel like I'm in an exam. I feel like I'm in an examination room. The teacher said it's a pop quiz. Said it's a quiz. It's clearly a pop quiz because we weren't prepared for it. I am not prepared for it. I don't even know what I'm being tested on. So I don't know how I'm going to pass this exam. I am clearly being... The anxiety is building up in me. Um, I feel anxious. And I just don't know how I'm going to pass the exam. You know, that's how I think I feel. And if you're feeling like that, just know that... You're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. Um, this is life. Life happens. You know, there's going to be some bad times, but there's also going to be good times. That is for certain. And you just have to figure out what the, the lesson is, learn the lesson, and move forward. And there's just, I feel like it could be just a moment in my time, in my life where I'm supposed to just relax for a bit. Maybe I needed to relax. I know that, I know, I feel it in my heart that I'm going, I'm about to enter this new level. This new journey i know it because my thoughts are changing um the things that i'm interested in are changing as well and so i know that i'm going i'm about to embark on this new journey but like i can see the journey maybe over there but i don't know how to get there and i feel like eventually the the way will present itself um yeah so just just keep positive guys if you're going through it if you know things are rough you're in just know that you're not alone you know a lot of us are going through it at the moment and just keep your head up as long as you have life as long as your eyes can open up and you can see and you can smell and you can taste you don't have no covid your body parts are moving like they're supposed to you have health once you have that, once you open up your eyes every single morning, be grateful because that means that's another day, another chance to get to where you need to go. Another chance in your life to make it right. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have today in terms of motivation. But um, that's what I think that's happening right now. It's hard to really talk about it because I'm currently going through it. But... I figured it would be good to talk about this because I think as I've always seen this around social media where you know they'll always say you can't you know follow most of these people most of the time because they don't really talk about the bad things that's happening to them they only you know show the, the pretty side of things but they don't tell you about the bad side so this is the bad side of of life and of business where you know you make some stupid decision you spill soda on your laptop I know you don't have any laptop to work it makes me see how well I had it and um, how I should be more careful with, you know, the things that I have that are put in place to help me to make my phones and don't take it for granted. And also to level up, it's also telling me to level up, I feel. Um, yeah. I think that's what I'm learning right now. And you know i don't know what other lessons i'm gonna learn through this journey that i'm going through but you know once i figure it out i will let you know all right enough of that because i don't want to linger on the negativity all right so let's talk about what is to come so i mean over the couple of days when i've been laptopless um 
I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the way how I create content, the content that I want to actually create, but I just, I don't feel like I have, you know, help around to create the content that I want to create. So, you know, I've thought about collaborations, I've thought about the type of content that I want to create, and, uh, you know, both on here and on my Instagram accounts. Um, and there are some good ideas that are coming up during this time so it's giving me a chance to um not focus so much on consistency because now i can't consistently create the content as i would want to but now my focus will be on um creating content that matters you know content that is more me and reflecting me as a person you know so i can know uh i guess create content from a place of love and you know, like the true me versus just, I just need to put some out there. I just need to put some out there. So I'm excited about that. Um, I know I want to mainly focus on here. I want to, I've, I've separated my personal page from my business page. So um, you should be seeing more consistency as it relates to like the different brands. Um or the different pages rather and then on here i'm going to be mainly focusing on business travel because you know a homegirl loves to travel business for sure is obvious because i'm an entrepreneur i'll be talking about my own experience um sharing my tips sharing um strategies tools that i use to make my business you know make it efficient and everything like that and then definitely i will be doing more travel videos as well now uh it's no secret that i love my country i love 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 jamaica and i want to like showcase jamaica in a different way in a way from my eyes um i want to show you know the nice little spots the cool little spots that spots that most persons probably wouldn't know because you know everything there's only like the commercial spots and then some other unique spots so i want to like mix that up um do more travel stuff locally and internationally and then i also want to tie in the personal development so the traveling and the business is developing me as a person um so the way that i think the way that i dress everything is being affected and i feel like it was the it was obvious that i had to include that in the type of content that i would create um it would be dumb not to because i think it completes the triangle so it's business travel personal development that you'll find here um and i'm excited for the content that i'm about to create listen the ideas that have been coming to my head I can't wait to execute it. I feel so excited for what's to come, you know? Um, so I don't mind that I have this downtime right now. I'm really using it to the best of my ability. That's really all that I can do. I can't complain about what's going on. I just have to learn the lesson and just move forward. Because that's just how it go. Yeah, because I still have my purpose to fulfill. I know that. Um yeah so i think that's it i have to be looking down on my notes to make sure that like i say what i need to say and not ramble about because i don't really do these little conversations i normally do something with you know like structure and everything but i decided that i was just gonna come and do one of these live updates because i think you know it's important to talk about this side as well so yeah you know i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are keeping safe um i hope you guys are you know continuing to like wash your hands and put on your mask and all of that because this new strain of covid is not a joke people are dying you know rest in peace to all the persons that have lost family members and friends due to covid and um just keep safe keep striving keep positive um until next time you know whenever i see you again whenever i get a chance to create content i'll make sure that i'm gonna put my toe in it i'm gonna do my all and you know really do something that you guys are going to love so stay tuned um yeah until next time bye